Hello again. Hello again. We're How hoping, are you? We're hoping it's our, our last uh, time to see the babies on ultrasound before we get to meet them in real life. So yeah, let's get a shot of you. What's, what you've been up to? What I've been up to? Yeah. Growing babies. Slowly but surely. Our first time here was in, I want to say February. And I was like, Chris, it's going to be so easy. It's our third baby. We're going to know pretty much everything. And then she said, I hana, I dos. And I was like, what? I was like, Chris, did you catch that? And he's like, no, what's going on? And I was like, they're twins. So baby number three turned out to be Nate, baby number three and four. Chris was excited. I cried. So anyway, the doctor has been fabulous. She's very confident. She knows what she's doing. I feel like we live here at Clinica Viera, which is one of the best hospitals in Honduras. But yes, we're hoping that Right Shark and Left Shark will get an eviction notice soon. All right, let's go see. <laughs> up from here but we're almost done yeah we're like so close so we can handle it all right stay tuned for more it's our last day. all right so it's go time jim has just gone back to the or and I'm here in scrubs, as you can see. Uh, yeah, a little too much chest hair for my taste, but I don't really have a choice in that. Anyway, the boys should be coming soon, and I'm gonna take a video when that happens, so I'm very excited. Uh, I'm nervous, but the great doctors, and I'm sure everything's gonna be wonderful, so we'll see you guys soon. Okay, so Jana right now is in recovery. Everything really, really well. Uh, the boys are healthy. She's healing better. Uh, they've got her back there healing up, but here are the boys. Let's check them out. Okay, so here's the firstborn. This is Maximilian Elam, and over here is Matthew Thomas. He's the secondborn, and yeah, these are my two boys. And I'm very, very excited and very proud. Jana did an excellent job, and I can't wait to show these boys to their sisters. Okay, so I can't see them yet, like in person, but Jana gets to go back. Oh, there she is. Hi. So anyway, she gets to meet the boys for the first time, so we're going to check them out. We're excited. We're waiting in the emergency room to finally be released. This is the first time we've had both of them. And it's actually kind of the first time that Chris hasn't had them at all. They've been in the nursery the whole time. I'm kind of flipping out. Everyone is staring at us. <laughs> but like everyone is coming by and like being like, oh, congratulations, how beautiful. And this one lady, she was like in English, she was like, twins. And she's like, what a blessing for Honduras. This is one of the nicest things you get to come to hospitals for. Yeah. I'm I'm kind of flipping out. How are you feeling, Dad? I think we're gonna be just fine. We've got four kids now. Yeah. I saw this one coming. <laughs> okay, we made it into the car. Luckily, it's it's our good friend Carlos. Carlos. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> um. Yes. So I have. I have paper cup. Matthew. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, I have Max. You have Max. I have Matthew. He has Matthew, and um, everybody that passed us was like, Hemelitos, congratulations, and I'm like tearing up, and I'm like, do you 
do you want one? Because I'm not sure you should be telling us congratulations. And one lady passed us and was like, I have twins. And she showed me the picture of her seven-year-olds. And she was like, you're going to love it. So anyway, um, we haven't actually like met these guys yet when they like are like awake or hungry or screaming. So we're excited to see their personalities. And yeah, we're excited to show them the Honduran world. All right, wish us luck.